All right, guys, welcome back to Technique Critiques. Uh, my name is Brian from Big Ben Strength. We're going to be taking a look at one of the newer lifters on our team. His name is Arden. Uh, he's doing a 145 pound no feet snatch triple. Well, let's go ahead and take a look at it. It's good, but he throws that bar back a little, a little too far and it seems a little unstable there. Let's see if he does that consistently. <laughs> Right as he gets to down to the bottom to try and stabilize, you can see him kind of duck his head a little bit. All right, last rep here. Yeah, just so he, he actually moves really well. There's a little bit of a hitch in the middle of his pull, uh, but predominantly the biggest thing that I'm seeing that he could fix is just not putting the bar as far back behind him. That's That's really the biggest thing. Um, this little bit of a hitch in the pull. Let's go ahead and see if we can find that. So he starts to pull. It's not super significant. It might just be a little bit of him starting too fast in the beginning of the pull. And that anytime that you start the bar too fast, it's always going to slow down a little bit before you go. All right. So you, the tempo of your pull should always be start slow and then build up speed throughout the whole lift where the fastest part of the lift being from hip full extension to catching or receiving the bar, pulling under. Um, let's see if we can see it on any of the other reps here. No, oh, does a good job there. Last one then. There's a little bit of a little bit of a hitch there, is right around the knees, but nothing super significant. I wouldn't even, I would really wouldn't even worry about it. The biggest thing that I would focus on is trying to receive the bar in a strong, stable position without cranking the bar too far back. Uh, that's just not going to be super strong. It's not going to be stable. And you'll actually probably miss a lot of lifts back behind or have to save by stepping back, which is not, uh, not ideal. So that's really the biggest thing that I would work on. I wouldn't even really worry about the hitch there in the pull. Uh, that'll just get better with more frequency on these. So yeah, that's it guys. Uh, make sure you like share and subscribe on the YouTube channel, and then also check out the Patreon. So if you want technique critiques like these for you, for your lifts, go and check out the Patreon. We have different tiers for the amount of critiques per month, as well as discounts on apparel, early access to new apparel drops, and all that jazz. So go and check that out. Uh, I'll catch you guys next time.